I'm Saturday Haul for you guys today and I'm going to start off with some repurchases. I wanted to get in on some more of the leader sale that they're doing at Ulta right now and they were sold out online of the blondage conditioner so when I was in store I thought that maybe they would have it but they were also sold out in store so I did pick up another one of the blondage shampoos in the leader and then for a conditioner I also really like the extreme uh, conditioner from Redken. It's like a more hydrating one. It just doesn't have the purple tint to it. Um, Redken just makes really good shampoos and conditioners. So they're originally $50 a liter and they're on sale for I believe it's $34.50. So I got these guys. I also saw these new lashes from Kiss Lashes and they're the Rebel uh, voluminous shaggy faux mink effect and I just like the sound of that <laughs> so I picked up two pairs one pair I did cut down already and one I didn't but this downtown girl version looks like super long super wispy but also with a little bit of like a natural kind of flare to it so when I do use these I will probably trim I would say about a third off of there and then the other one that I got is main character and I have trimmed these ones and worn these ones and I really like this style as well. So did I show you the box? This is, yeah, you see it on the other one, but um, this is like a third trimmed off the outer corner on these ones. And again, this is main character and they're just a little bit more voluminous than the other one, but they're not quite as long, I don't think, compared to downtown girl. So you can see right there, they're just more voluminous, but not as long, so... Um, fun lashes there. I just love, I love trying on new pairs of eyelashes, <laughs> new styles and stuff. I also saw the new Urban Decay Big Bush Brow Volume Building Tinted Gel and Hold. I'm not crazy about the name, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I got the uh, shade Cool Cookie. It does say that it's got good hold to it. Uh, up to 24 hours, pack on, hair like fibers, tints, shapes, volumizes all in one, vegan formula, does not contain animal derived ingredients is what it says on the packaging. Um, there is a total 0.2 fluid ounces of product and this one here is made in the USA. I should mention the Kiss Lashes are made in Vietnam as well. But um, this guy here, it's got nice packaging. This is the box, this is the actual. And I have got this in my brows today. And it was really hard to open the lid, I don't know why it was so tight but I actually struggled <laughs> trying to open up the actual like product or whatever maybe it's gonna dry out quick I don't know but it was on very very tight again the shade that I have is cool cookie so there are fibers in here I need to take my watch off and the wand has a little bit of a longer side and then a shorter side and I had to put on probably three coats like one coat and I say coat lightly because even with the first coat I barely seen anything. I don't know um, if it, it's because there's not a lot of product on the brush, but like you can see some product on there. Um, but I just couldn't get like enough like product on the hairs, I guess, if you will. Um, so on both brows, I have got three layers of this product on each of them, and that still wasn't definitive enough for me. So I went in with the NYX uh, brow pen that I really love. Um, so those are the two products that I have in my brows. But usually my brows are standing up a little bit more and they're a little bit more spiky, which I like, personal preference type of deal. I like that kind of spiky look. Um, and I like that nice hold because this brow especially, the hairs like to not stand up on the arch. This one does a better job, but this, <laughs> my brow does a better job. <laughs> but this side, the hairs like to kind of go downwards a little bit. So I really like a strong hold for that nice arc that I can get. Um, and this one just doesn't, like do that for me and again it was so hard to get like volume um from the product and like it comes out on the wand it's just I just had to keep going over it you know what I mean I think if you have um voluminous natural kind of brows that you just want to tame the shape of I think that a product like this would be really good but if you're looking for a real defined brow gel with a strong hold I don't think that this one is it so um I'll probably still toy around with it and stuff like that but uh, my favorite brow product is still the Inglot Plain Soap Brow. This is the brown version. This has got really lovely hold. It's got a nice little tint to it, um, and it also doesn't break out my brows. It's like my favorite brow product of the moment. But anyway, this one here, again, is the, <laughs> the Urban Decay Big Bush Brow in Cool uh, Cookie. 
right there and there's the shade on the back of my hand I can say I do like the shade I really love the cool cookie um, pen end of the brow pencil duo that they do as well it's a good shade Ulta also had the new Fenty Beauty we're even hydrating longwear concealers out and I was super excited about it because I could swatch them in the store and the shade that looked like it was going to be perfect for me was 125 C so that's the shade that I got there's nine milliliters of product or 0.3 fluid ounces and this guy here is made in France. So here is the box packaging. Again, the shade I have is 125C. And the actual packaging is super cool. I really like it. Like a little step in the unique direction, you know. It's got like a, what do you call that, a six side? Is that a hexagon? Um, it's this one right here. And I do have this concealer underneath my eyes today. And the formula is really, really nice. I feel like it's thin. It has nice coverage. It feels nice on the skin as well. And again, I swatched them in store. And I thought that this was going to be my perfect shade. And to an extent it is. Um, it looks like quite brightening underneath my eyes today. Because I went in with a setting powder that has a more brightening factor to it. As opposed to just like a translucent. Like the flower nose that I use. I absolutely love that product as well. Um, and it does work really well. But I wanted to see if I used a brightening, more bright powder. How much it would have lifted this shade. And so it's a, a fluorescent one that I'll show you in a minute. That I have over the top of this. But again, the formula is just lovely. I may actually pick up the next lightest shade in the cool undertone as well so that I can mix them. Because I do absolutely love my uh, Flower Nose powder. I mix it with the Huda Cherry Blossom as well, which also gives a little bit of brightening. But on the back of my hand, for sure, you can see how nice that matches. So... Really, really nice concealer though. I'm very happy with the formula. I just need to toy around with the shades with powders and stuff. And again, I might grab the lighter uh, cool tone shade as well. But this is just really nice. Again, this is the We're Even Hydrating Longwear Concealer uh, from Fenty Beauty in 125C right there. I also grabbed the new L'Oreal Voluminous Panorama Corner to Corner Panoramic Volume Mascara. Uh, I got 701 Blackest Black and I got this because of how much I love the telescopic lift. That has been my go-to absolute favorite conceal uh, concealer <laughs> mascara. Um, so I wanted to try this one because I feel like L'Oreal is on a roll with uh, their latest mascaras. Uh, there's 0.33 fluid ounces of product in here, which is a nice amount, and it's made in the USA. So it's this guy right here, and the packaging looks like this. It's gold. It's got a pretty good size to it. And I will say that the formulation, like the just the, the formula of the product, feels very similar to the Telescopic Lift. Um, the biggest difference is the brush. This one here is more symmetrical like circular all the way around whereas the telescopic lift has got those different sides to it so depending on you need to kind of be a little bit careful with the brush because it has those longer bristles and you can poke your eye and then they're quite uh pointy <laughs> so you, you got to be careful of that um this is a really firm wand and it also has the rubber bristle very spiky kind of brush and you do have to be careful with this one as well but you don't have to worry about what side the wand is on when you go to use it because again it is symmetrical all the way around the brush so I really like it two coats is what I put on today for my lashes I do have falsies on um, as well which are the glam light code orange um, but again the formula very similar to telescopic lift so if you like that formula but you you kind of struggle a little bit with the wand because there's a slight like learning curve again so you don't like poke your eye out um, give this one a try I really like how firm the brush is and how like many little bristles there because it really combs the lashes out well too and no flaking and no smudging so this one for me so far is a win um, again this is the voluminous panorama from L'Oreal right there. I also grabbed the ColourPop Cream Gel Liner in the Wild Idea, which is a new range of uh, gel liners from ColourPop that are multi-chrome. So I do have it on my waterline today, but I put down the KVD pomade that I usually use in Power Green first because of the hold that that has. I really like the ColourPop gel liners, but they just don't last on my waterline um, as long as I would like them to. So when I use a, like a cream gel liner for the shade, I like to put something down like that KVD pomade as a base almost, if you will, to help with longevity. Um, so I have the KVD again underneath this liner. 
and it is a really pretty green. It's got a little bit more of a dark base to it. Um, you can see when I turn my hand there, the base on it is quite dark. Um, and the sheen is really pretty. And I wanted to swatch it next to Kaleidos' Multichrome Liner in the shade uh, 7 Cs because out of the Multichrome Liners that I've had, this one has been the closest. Uh, the Kaleidos one is a bit lighter. It doesn't quite have such a deep base as the ColourPop one, but I will say I feel like ColourPop did a really good job with their multi-chrome liners. I swatched all of the ones in the gondola, but you know, I typically go for like a green. And the bluish one I was interested in, but it wasn't quite bright enough and had quite a strong, again, dark base to it. So I kind of passed on that one because I do like a brighter liner on the waterline. But I think this one looks, I think it looks nice, I suppose. Let me see if I can go like this so you can see the, kind of the shine a little bit better um, on camera, right there. And so far, using the, the pomade, uh, the KVD pomade as a base has worked well. I don't have anything in the inner corner yet, but I think I probably will towards the end of the day because that's typically kind of what happens. But again, I think ColourPop did a really good job with the multi-chrome uh, liner collection they did. So again, it's this one right here, and it is the shade Wild Idea. ColourPop products are made in the USA, and there's 0 0.01 ounces or 0.2 grams of product in here. I also purchased Beautylish's new Lunar New Year um, powder brush, which I buy these brushes every year, and this one is the Year of the Dragon. And it has got a cute little purple dragon on there. I love the handles. These, I'm almost certain, are made by Chikahoto, which are top-notch, handmade quality Japanese makeup brushes. And I've already been using this one right here. I use these brushes a lot to um, dip into the Guerlain Meteorites or powders that I use as a finishing powder and then buff all over the face, which is how um, I use this one today as well. Super, super soft. It just gives that seamless look when I use them with that finishing powder. Um, I always look forward to their yearly launch of this brush. I have got all of them. Let's see. see the little dragon on there? So cute. You can see how soft it is, kind of there, the movement. Super pretty brush. So those are my new in products that I've purchased that I've had a chance to try. Um, in addition to those products, I did get in two wonderful PR packages of collections from indie brands that I absolutely adore, and that is Flower Nose and Florasis, which I'm wearing uh, products from both of these collections on my face today. So I'll start off with the um, collection from Florasis. So the collection is called Nomadic Glam, and it is available on their website right now. Um, even the box packaging that they send their stuff in is really pretty. <laughs> they just do really, really pretty stuff same with flower nose just very very pretty 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 brands <laughs> so there's a card inside that says nomadic glam collection traditional cosmetics floral essences and then you have a saddle and a horse which always gets me there and then a little bit about the products that are in the collection right there when Florasis sends out packages they send out like the shopping bag that goes with the collection which it's just kind of like you went into the shop and bought the products, you know? <laughs> so I thought I would show it to you because it's like very cute. It's themed to match the collection. It's got the little tag right there. There's a couple of different iterations of bags in the collection. They sent me over this one right here, which I have a very good idea of somebody who would really like this little bag that I am going to pass this on to. Um, but it, you can like keep I don't know, some cash or some cards or something inside of that guy right there. And it's got these really long tassels. There's also this fragrance card. It almost looks like uh, something you would hang like maybe in your car or something like that. I can't do any type of car fresheners in my vehicles. <laughs> it just, it's better off to smell like dirt or dust than um, like a fragrance because I can get really like car sick. <laughs> um, but this one here is really... It's really like a herbally type of scent, I think. Um, so I'll probably put it somewhere in the house, maybe in one of the bedrooms or something like that, because it's got a quite uh, strong smell to it. So it should like freshen up the air pretty well. And this here is just called the um, Floral Essence Eastern Lingering Perfume Card. So that guy was in there.
there are also two hair clips that came in there and these are like super heavy duty um they really have like a southwest vibe to them but they're like a heavy duty um hair clip right there you can see it's, you can like put it in your hair and it's got the little designs on it so those were in there and then getting into the makeup products we've got the blooming rouge ultra smooth satin liquid lipstick 0.14 ounces or four grams of product and uh, Florasis products are made in China. They are Chinese based indie brand. So here is the really pretty packaging on that guy. And this is one of those matte formulations. What I like to do with them is put a little bit maybe on the center of my lip and then use my finger to blur it out. It's a silicone kind of based blurring matte liquid lipstick formula. Not like the drying long wear kind of ones, um, but they do have longevity in terms of the color, but not like those really, like the old school, you know, long wear lip, liquid lipsticks. They're not like that, but they definitely have a, a blurring effect to them. I've got a similar product on my lips today from the other collection, which again, I'll show you in a minute, but this one here is Sacred Warmth S403. And you really can, based on how much product you put on, you can really tone down or amp up the color. So like you can see when I blur it out, it really can sheer out, which is how I like to wear them. It's like a more sheer wash of color, but if you want more, just put some more product on, you can definitely get more intensity out of it. And again, that is the packaging right there on that guy. And then we have got the Peony Dream Cream Blush, 0 0.099 ounces or 2.8 grams. And this is in 13 Morning Rays right here. And the packaging is so cute. It's like a faux leather. Again, it really gives me, the whole vibe gives me like a Southwest type of feel to it. Um, this is the blush that I have got on my cheeks today and it's really, really pretty. Um, it's called a cream blush, but it, it has more of a powder aspect for me. Like when I swatch it, it feels much more like a powder product, but it's got great pigmentation to it and it's super easy super easy to apply and blend out. It's got a very, very finely milled, very, very thin, thin texture to it. And again, you can see how that blurs out. But it does have, again, it feels, it's a very interesting formula. It does not feel like a, like a cream product, but when I swatch it, it almost swatches like a cream. Oh, you know what? I wonder, Maybe, I don't know. You know those products that they start out as powders and once they like hit the warmth or you start working the product, it turns to a cream. But maybe, it feels creamier when I swatch it out than it does when I like look at it in the pan. But it did blend out nicely like a powder on my cheeks. Very interesting formula is all I can say about that. It's a really pretty color. Again, this is what I've got on my cheeks today. So that's the Morning Rays Peony Dream Cream Blush right there. And then we've got the Flawless Jade Breathable Press Powder in 04 Lavender. There's 0.25 ounces or seven grams of product in this one. And this is the box on there. And this is actually what I use to set underneath my eyes. And I have purchased this uh, Flawless Jade Powder in the loose version. Um, I've got backups of it. It was my go-to like under eye setting powder prior to me like falling in love with the Flower Nose Circus powder. And I still really love the lavender uh, powder from Florasis. Again, I have backups of it. It's a really nice powder and it does have more brightening than the Flower Nose one, but it's not, um, it's not quite as, it's very undetectable, but not quite as undetectable as the Circus powder, but very, very nice powder uh, nonetheless. So this is the pressed version. And again, this is what is underneath my eyes today and it does give quite a bit of brightening. So I'll swatch it here. Oh, there's a puff. There's a little plastic piece and then a puff that comes in there as well. And then you'll be able to see on my finger right there just how much brightness that can give. So I set the um, Fenty Beauty Concealer with this powder today. And I think there are two shades of this available. There are a couple shades of this and then here's your packaging on this one. It's got the lighter kind of faux leather on the front. So that is the breathable pressed powder in 04 lavender right there. And then there's the Yurong airbrush tinted pressed powder 0.32 ounces or 9 grams of product and this one is in Z25 Lotus 
box packaging again on there. And then this compact has got the kind of yellowed um, faux leather on there, leather like a yellowed brown mustard. <laughs> it's mustard. <laughs> and this one here is actually the same shade of another powder that I have from, from Fluorasis um, in their like permanent range. And I've used that quite a few times to set my face. And it is a really pretty, almost like semi-hydrating type of a powder. And it has just a hint of coverage. So I use that when I'm looking for a little bit more full coverage type of powder. So this is um, the same as that one right there. And it is a really nice powder. It's good for dry skin. It works really well for me. So that one is the Yurong Airbrush Tinted Press Powder. Let me give you a little swatch so you can see that there's some color to it. Right there. And again, very pretty packaging. That Z25 Lotus. And then lastly in the collection, we have got the Into the Wild Palette. There's 0.28 ounces or eight grams of product in this guy. This is the box packaging and the actual packaging looks like this. Let's pull the little, I see other YouTubers do this, so <laughs> pull a little sticker off the front. So this has also got the mustard kind of faux leather on the front. And this was very hard for me to dip a brush in. <laughs> um, I do have this palette on my eyes and only this palette. It is a one and done for me. It is a really, really pretty, natural, very easy to use eyeshadow palette. So it made it so difficult because there are embossed horses in here. So I did use both of these shades, but I focused my brush on the lower component to try to savor the embossing on the horse head. <laughs> Um, I may very well end up buying another one of these just to conserve the pretty embossing, which Fluorasis does really, really well. Like it's very difficult to put a brush in their palettes <laughs> because there's, it's such intricate, pretty embossing. So anyway, um, this is a baked jelly formula, but it picks up really, really easy on a brush. It's nice and soft. It blends out super easy. Again, this is what I've got on my eyes today. I've got this underneath the brow and on the inner portion, uh, the dark brown in the crease, I blend it out with this orange. And then I've also got the gold on the kind of middle of the lid there. I also use the yellow to blend out the orange. So I think the only two shades that I didn't use today are this green and then this kind of beige shade. But let's avoid the little horse head <laughs> and give you guys some swatches here. Being stingy, right? And then these other shades. Sophisticatedly pretty is how I would like to describe this palette. Look at that green. Oof. It's got some really pretty sparkles in it. So that guy right there, again, is the Into the Wild palette. Show you guys again the packaging. This is what I've got on my eyes and a huge thank you to Fluorasis for sending over their latest launch. It's a really pretty collection as per usual from Fluorasis. And next up we've got Flower Nose's latest launch which is the Little Angel collection. And the Little Angel collection from Flower Nose was one of the first that I purchased from the brand. I purchased Flower Nose far before they started sending me PR just fell head over heels. I got a couple pieces. Um, I believe I ordered off of Alpha Beauty and then also Chic Decent. And I started off small and then I went big. <laughs> and I was like, I need every shade. This packaging is just unreal. The formulas are beautiful. <laughs> Some of the like colors, especially like the cheek, um, like blushes and stuff can run quite light. But from what I've seen online, the blushes, the cream blushes in this collection, they've got a bit more pigment to them. I've got um, two of them to show today. Uh, but this is the box packaging the, the products come in, which is also very, very lovely. I love the whole theming. It's another type of one of those vibes that just gives me the feels, you know? So you guys have heard me go on and on about Flower Nose for a very long time. So this is the Little Angel box right here. For kicks real quick, I'll show you the first two uh, Little Angel eyeshadow palettes. This came out some years back. Um, 
that again I fell head over heels for. So this is the first little little angel collection that Flower Nose did some time back. And with this packaging, it is just something else, man. So this is the black one. I'm not sure if you can still find these ones around. But there's like waves in there. I just have to show these <laughs> because they're so pretty. So those are two eyeshadow palettes from the first collection. I also recently finally filmed my empties video. And if you watch that, you will see that there was an original Little Angel highlighter in there, which is my one of my all-time favorite highlighters. I used up one of those. I've got backups of several shades from the original Little Angel collection in their highlighters. They're like um, baked gelée highlighters, but there's something in there that has like a hydrating kind of binder that sticks to my dry skin really, really well. And it has like this translucent to it where you can see the skin through it. I have got on one today as well which I'll show you here in a minute but just absolutely lovely highlighters. They sent me one and I will be going back to um, buy the rest of the shades and I will also buy a couple of two of the shades probably for sure. So let me get into these products. I'm kind of going off a little bit. <laughs> I'll start with the highlighters since I was just talking about them. So this is the original Little Angel in Moon River, which is the highlighter that I've got on my cheeks today. And I can confirm that the old formula is the same as the new formula, at least it feels so. Again, I've just got the one highlighter, but they are the same shade. They perform the same for me as well. So Moon River and the Paradise Lost are two of the repromotes from the original Little Angel collection. The other two shades are new and I cannot wait <laughs> to get my hands on them. I've got backups of the Moon River in the original as well because as you can see here, we've used a lot of it because <laughs> it's so pretty. It's got blue, pink, purple, just the most beautiful iridescence to it. So let me swatch this guy for you. I just want to swatch them together so you can see that they are like the same. Just a beautiful, beautiful color. And then the one from this collection, the packaging. Here, let me show them together. <laughs> um, they amped it up, man. That is so, so pretty. Very nicely weighted. They just feel so luxurious. Like, I feel like if a higher end brand name brand launched something like this and it looked like this, they'd be asking like, I don't know, $150 for it or something. That's how nice it is. So this is the new Moon River. And again, I've used this one, so I'll swatch it, but I've got another one that I'm gonna order um, in my bucket right now on the website. Since I've kind of messed up quite a bit of the embossing, because again, I've used it. Uh, can you, there you can see it a bit. And I love that they changed the colors in the packaging for each of the shades so you know which one you're kind of reaching for. So that is Moon River right there. I forgot to show you guys the box on here. Again, Flower Nose is a Chinese-based indie brand as well. Eight grams of product in the highlighter. And then we have got the cream blushes, which um, they haven't done a cream blush like this before. I would know because I think I have every blush they've ever made. <laughs> Um, so this is the Little Angel Collection Cream Blush right here. I got two shades of this to share with you guys. And again, um, packaging is just stunning. And they've got different tones on there. So this one's got like a pinky uh, kind of a tone and this one's white. And the other three shades that I'm also going to pick up, they've got different colors again so you can distinguish them. And then the colors inside of here are different. So these are also embossed, like really nicely embossed cream formulations. And I've used them both, so I've kind of wrecked them a bit. So let's swatch it. And it is a cream blush. I found that when I stippled it kind of on my face over powder, it went on pretty well without moving the powder underneath. Um, so this shade right here, let me tell you, is Fingertip Stellar number five. And this one here, is pretty it's pretty light um it kind of blended in a little bit with my bronzer but it was a more natural kind of rosy terracotta type of shade on my cheeks so again this is 05 fingertip stellar right there and the shade i've worn most out of the two is s01 flaming heart because it's a little bit deeper rosy terracotta i guess and i'm excited to get the other shades too because they're a little bit deeper as well. So you can definitely see that one's a bit more rosy. 
but they're creams. I had to, I had to use them. <laughs> um, but they were like such, again, intricately embossed in a cream. And like I said, it is creamy. So I just, I just thought that was super cool. So that one right there again is Flaming Heart 01. And those are the two um, Little Angel Cree blushes that were sent over. They sent over four of their matte lipsticks, and I believe there are nine available. Three pink, three in the white packaging, and three in the black packaging. I've got two in the white and two in the black packaging to share with you guys. And this is actually what I've got on my lips today. Um, so again, these are the matte lipsticks, and there's a total of, I'm trying to find how much um, product is in here 3.5 grams is what it says on the box so the shade that i've got on my lips uh today is c01 starry cross and again packaging <laughs> so this is a silicone based matte lipstick as well and i kind of did the same thing um how i use the fluorasis matte lipstick that's how i use these ones so i kind of put some um on my lip like that and then i take my finger or I, I can even do it like this and then I blend it into the lips and you can just see the blur that it gives and it's not like really drying but there is no gloss to it because it's a matte formulation so they're really comfortable on the lips as well so again this is starry cross right here and that is the lipstick that I've got on um, today and the packaging is also a click style component and then we've got 03 Radiant Seraph. I think that's how you say that. Again, this has got the white packaging on it as well. It's kind of a deeper version of the, the first one I swatched. A little bit more rosy, I suppose. So that one right there is Radiant Seraph. I hope I'm not saying that wrong. They're very soft. The formula is very soft. That's probably why it's encased so close to the bullet because it would definitely like smush over really easily if it wasn't like that um, and then getting into the ones in the black packaging right here i've got two of these and we have got 08 sand tower these are both brown browns so this one again is sand tower and i'm going to use my finger to blend those out as well so you can see what they look like kind of how i like to use them instead of so opaque but it kind of makes it versatile though because you can get a lighter version or you can deepen it up by just putting on more product you know this fourth one is 09 Dark Angel, which is, I think, the deepest one that they have available. It's a really deep, very neutral deep brown. Again, that one is Dark Angel. And then let's blend them out with a finger so you can kind of see what that does. right there. It's crazy how you can just instantly see the blur when you like blend them in. So those are the matte lipsticks right there. There's also a primer. It's called the Little Angel Collection Dewy Hydrating Primer. I have not used this yet. I'm trying to figure out how to execute this um, or use it in conjunction with my skincare. And it might be kind of one of those pinpoint deals where I put all my sunscreen on, kind of let that sit for a minute, and then kind of maybe put the primer in like more pore concentrated areas. I don't typically have a big pore problem because I use a lot of acid. <laughs> um, but I'm interested to try this one, especially it's got that hydrating claim in it. So this is a 50 gram jar. And when this gets used up, or however it gets used up, I can see myself... I'm going to keep it <laughs> and repurpose it somehow because the packaging again is just stellar. So let's show it to you guys. It's got a lovely weight to it and look at how pretty this is. Let me get the cover. Oh, it is just so, so nice. Let me open up the top here. See, it's got like the little edge to it and then this is what the primer looks like. It definitely looks like a silicone based primer, which it would um, to like fill in pores. That's why I think that it might be, you know, handy to use like that. Um, I'm trying to get some, see if maybe we can see an effect on the back of my hand. 
maybe um, it's right here. Yeah, it definitely has a lot of slip to it. it doesn't really smell like a whole lot. So that one there, again, is the Dewy Hydrating Primer. And I just can't even with this jar. It is so, so, so nice. <laughs> and then there are two variations of the blush brush. Um, I got the dark one. And these are really soft. They're quite wispy. So they're good for pigmented type of products. But like right now I'm quite shiny. So I did put a, a substantial amount of like, um, I think I used peach, yeah, I used peach and lily um, hydrating spray today. And then in front of these lights, I can get a bit shiny. I'm using the essence powder. But these little brushes are really handy for this type of thing too, again, because they're such nice and wispy kind of brushes. But um, this is the black one that they sent over. And then it says flower nose on there. There are also three colors of the mirrors. I got the black one of these too. Like, look at how pretty this is. At this point, I feel like such a little hand mirror collector because <laughs> I've got them from uh, Kaleidos. I've got quite a few from Flower Nose. Um, a couple other brands too of just really pretty little hand mirrors. But this one here is the black one. So I think there's a pink one and then also a white one or like a cream colored one. There's also a little barrette and it's got the little cherubs on there. This is the pink or the nude. No, I think it's the pink version right here. It's one of those type of clips. There's also a lip mask in the collection. So it's the Hydrating Repair Lip Mask packaging right here. A total of, let's see if I can read this, 10 grams of product. And then here is the packaging on this guy. I haven't had enough time with this to really put it to the test. I threw it in my pocket when I went up to the barn to go ride and it's been so cold. So it wasn't a super fair test for this. Um, but it did feel nice the time that I put it on my lips. So I need to spend a little bit more time with this to give a good kind of review of it. But it did feel really nice on my lips. And then the applicator is like that there. So you don't have to like put it on your face. You can just put it directly on your lips. Should we put some on over this matte lipstick and see what happens? So you can kind of see a finish to it. Yeah, it feels super nice. So that is their lip mask. I should show you the promo card too that came in the box because that is also very pretty. <laughs> it says, Flower Nose, established in 2016, combines fantasy and reality. Our vision draws from fairy tales and timeless art crafting products that bring magic to everyday life. If you follow Flower Nose on Instagram, they make the prettiest videos when they're launching a new collection. It just, they just draw you in. And I get so excited when I see like teasers for a new collection that, that's coming out. Cause again, it's so, it's just such beautiful stuff. And lastly, we have got the two eyeshadow palettes. So we've got number one, Eden's Angel and number two, Weeping Angel. Both of these are standalone palettes for me. This is the box packaging. There's a total of 10.5 grams in each one. Again, I love that they differentiate. You know exactly which one that you're reaching for. Um, I, I don't know if I'm gonna get around to doing a favorites video. I'm just, I'm just like super swamped. Um, I really, really wanna do one though. Uh, one of the, the Black Swan one from their last ballet collection is in, will be in that video if I get around to making it. It's one of my absolute favorites from last year. I wore it so much. Um, these palettes have got the same super great formula. Um, so let's start off with the number one Eden's Angel. There are three big chalet style shadows in each of these. Again, they pick up really lovely on a brush. They're not too hard or anything like that. And then you've got six matte shadows that correlate with those big gelets. So there is the front and the back very nicely weighted as well. And then here are your shadows. So those are your three big gelée and then there are your six mattes. Again, both of these are standalone for me. It was so hard to decide what palette to wear today. I wanted to wear one of these ones, but I hadn't used the fluorescence one yet and I wanted to use that one, but I didn't want to like disturb the horses. <laughs> so I was struggling. <laughs> um, but these are just absolutely stunning. So they have really cute little embossing in there as well. I've worn both of these palettes a couple times. So I've disturbed the embossing quite a bit. This is an, actually, I'm gonna have to turn this sideways because I'm gonna accidentally gouge one if I don't. Just so pretty. 
I wouldn't have minded if they did like four or five shadow palettes <laughs> with this collection. And then these next guys. It's just the cherry on top with the packaging, how nice the formulas are. And then this last one. Right here. So again, this one here is 01 Eden's Angel. Right there. And then we've got 02 Weeping Angel. It's got the black packaging. And this is the more colorful kind of of the two. Worn this a couple times. Beautiful. I don't know how many times I've said beautiful or pretty. <laughs> Again, I'll turn this sideways so I don't gouge those shadows. Wait till you see how beautiful these are. Just stunning. There are some larger kind of glitters in this one right here, but it's super shiny. And then these next guys. That one really blended into my skin. And then the last one here. Those mattes are so soft. I know I've used this analogy with these uh, matte shadows from Flower Nose before, but it's like sticking your hand in a bag of flour soft. <laughs> so that guy right there, again, is 02 um, Weeping Angel right there. And a massive thank you to Flower Nose as well for sending me over pieces from their latest launch. And that is everything for my video today. I hope that you guys enjoyed it and found it helpful. Thank you for watching. Do not forget to wear sunscreen and I will see you guys later. Bye.